Technology has seen a huge amount of change over the last 12 months, and Microsoft 365 has also seen a significant amount of change. New products, new features, new ways of working. And it can be really challenging to stay on top of all of that change, so you and your team can find the best possible ways to work with new capabilities released in 365. And that's why we're gonna have a look at our top five changes over the last 12 months that you and your team should be using to have the most positive impact on your work and also on your team. And not only has technology seen a lot of change, we've also seen a lot of change in our own YouTube channel. Yes, we've had over 3 million video views, 200,000 hours of playtime across our videos too, when grown by 30,000 subscribers in the last 12 months. So a big thank you to all of you that have clicked the subscribe button or commented or liked on any of our videos. We hope all of our content has helped you over the last 12 months. If you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button and the like button to let me know this video has helped and transform the way that you work going into 2025. So let's review our top five changes in Microsoft 365 that you can get working with today. So coming in at number five is Microsoft Teams, an app we've used for many, many years. But two changes are now rolling out in Microsoft Teams and you will see them very soon. The first will be the ability to work with your teams in a fantastic new way. As we've seen over many years, as you're part of hundreds or thousands of Microsoft Teams, your left-hand navigation in Teams becomes really cluttered. But now, with the new experience for Teams chat and channels, you can now build your own Teams view personal to you. Yes, if you have hundreds and thousands of Teams, you can simply favorite the channels you work with or organize your teams and channels in the way that you personally prefer. Maybe a view of teams across your projects or just your functional teams. Now you're giving you a way to organize your teams in the right way that suits you and preventing information overload. And the other big change is that new calendar experience in Microsoft Teams. For years, we've had to schedule meetings in Outlook simply because a Teams calendar didn't provide all of those capabilities that we need every day access to shared calendars, the ability to use additional meeting options. Now the new Teams calendar will give you the Outlook calendar we use every day and bring in these new capabilities, meaning we don't need to step out of Teams to schedule that all important meeting. So we believe those changes in Microsoft Teams have a massive impact to you and your team and the way you work with your channels, files and chats. And coming in at number four, is a new planner app inside of Teams. The new planner app brought a single experience that now aligned all of the task management apps. We started to see the collapsing of Microsoft To Do, Planner and Planner Premium under this single view of tasks inside of Teams. When you loaded up the new app, you had access to all of your tasks from all of those different apps, your personal and private tasks, your flagged emails, tasks from Microsoft Loop Task List, and also Planner and Planner Premium in a single place in Microsoft Teams. That now means if you were given work across Microsoft 365, you would see it in one single place. Now I believe there are still more areas that could be improved inside of that app, such as bringing tasks from the Word documents that maybe you've been tagged in or across different apps inside of Microsoft 365. But you can see that this new view of a single place of tasks inside of Microsoft 365 could well involve and begin to improve with even more capability. But for you and your team, having a single place to collect all of your work and simply focus on is a lot better than looking over multiple different apps to pick up all of your different work. So that's why we believe the new Planner app in Teams is a great place to manage all of your work. And coming in at number three is Microsoft Planner Premium. For years in Microsoft Planner, we didn't have capabilities that many of you needed. The ability to manage your tasks in a timeline or a Gantt chart view. The ability to organize your tasks and have subtasks. Also track goals and manage your resources in better ways. To meet those requirements, we often had to look at different apps and buy third party solutions, meaning your data be stored outside of your Microsoft 365 environment. But with Microsoft reinventing Microsoft Project for the web and then rebranding it Planner Premium, 
There was also an advantage by bringing it into that Microsoft Planner app inside of Teams. You could have all of your tasks in Planner Premium and have quick access through that app. And as you allocated work to your team members, they could also pick up their tasks inside of the Planner app and they also wouldn't need a paid for license to Microsoft Planner Premium if they're just managing their work and focusing on task management. So that's why we believe that Microsoft Planner Premium provided a great new capability to manage more complex projects that quite simply Microsoft Planner could never do for many years. So Planner Premium is certainly a great way to manage your projects. And of course, going into 2025, Expect to see even more improvements like portfolio management and more to further improve how Planner Premium can work for you. And coming in at number two is an app that's one of my favorites, Microsoft Loop. Microsoft Loop gave us a digital canvas to create content and share the many different apps and keep it all in sync in Microsoft 365. No longer do we have to write a task list in Microsoft Teams and then also track it separately in Microsoft Planner, we can now simply create a task list powered by Loop and Planner inside of Teams, keeping your tasks in sync and also delivered with Microsoft Planner and task management capabilities. Or even better, have an area to store all of your personal notes or meeting notes and even create yourself a notebook inside of Microsoft Loop kept all in sync that you could share with your colleagues too. So Microsoft Loop had a number of advantages in the last one year. We've seen Microsoft Loop 2.0, providing in new experiences to make Loop more friendly to use through the web and through its app. An improved mobile app. We've also saw the ability to have meeting notes and now supporting reoccurring meetings, giving you the ability to write your notes in Teams, but keeping it all synced with the power of Microsoft Loop. For me, I use Loop every day to come up with ideas for some of our videos or even take our meeting notes as we mentioned before. So bringing Loop into your day-to-day -day work can have a massive advantage and personally, I've seen that too. So Loop is here to stay and it's a great way to keep all of your content in sync and save a lot of time. And coming in at number one is Microsoft Copilot. Yes, you guessed it. Microsoft Copilot I believe has been the number one change over the last one year that's had the most positive impact on the way people have worked. By bringing AI and Copilot into our daily tasks that we use in the daily apps, such as Microsoft Outlook, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and Microsoft Teams, it's speeded up the way we collaborate and also create content. We can ask Copilot to summarize your day or your upcoming week, help it focus on the relevant tasks you've got coming up as well, or have it build that PowerPoint presentation from a Microsoft Word document you've already created and spent hours on. We've seen Copilot change so much in the workplace already and evolve so much in the last one year. And of course, there's more changes upcoming. In fact, only recently we've seen a new Copilot agent capability allowing us to build Copilots in the workplace to focus on particular projects or knowledge areas which you could share with your colleagues to help give them the most up-to-date information and save you time answering all of those typical questions. So yes, we believe Microsoft Copilot is the biggest change in Microsoft 365 in the last 12 months. We're excited to see where it goes next and also how it will further improve. But I'd love to know, what is your top five? What are your top five features, products and capabilities in Microsoft 365 that you've seen over the last 12 months? Why not write them up in the comments below and share them with our community so I'd love to know what you feel and whether you think I've missed anything out of this list. Or also what you'd like to see in the future in Microsoft 365 too. But we hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and also that subscribe button to find great new ways to work going into 2025. And otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.